The International Monetary Fund chief has resigned while in custody in New York over accusations of sexual assault that he strongly denies. Before Dominic Strauss-Kahn quit, though, crowds gathered in Washington to join the growing global calls for him to go. Let's look at all that uh, means for the world banking uh, world with Adrian Salbushi, an economics and geopolitics author in Buenos Aires. Mr. Salbushi, thanks for being with us. Strauss Kahn was a vocal advocate, wasn't he, of widening the world's money system and drawing countries away from the US dollar as a reserve currency. What's going to happen to his pet projects now that he's no longer in charge? Well, to a great extent, I think one has to interpret that his having left the International Monetary Fund in such a dramatic way shows that the powers that be were not very happy with him because, well, perhaps sexual escapades are a bit of the norm, as we see with Silvio Berlusconi in Italy and as we have seen with New York Governor Spitzer, and we've seen it in many high level, top level government officers. I think that the fact that he has gone has much to do with the fact that the United States dollar must continue being the global currency, the dominant global currency, and that is being challenged very much so. And perhaps Mr. Dominique Strauss-Kahn's socialist leanings, in a way, took him to give more preeminence to special drawing rights, the SDR, which is uh, incorrectly called the uh, IMF money. But in actual fact, it would be a way, if that mechanism is strengthened, to relatively weaken the U.S. dollar. In fact, in March of 2009, the governor of the Bank of China, Zhou Xiaochuan, proposed openly that the uh, IMF special drawing rights should be a mechanism to draw away from the U.S. dollar and onto different, a more uh, balanced basket of currencies, considering that the U.S. dollar is being hyperinflated by the Federal Reserve Bank of the United States, even though they call it by a nice euphemism called quantitative easing. So, Adrian, what you're saying here, in a nutshell, is that the dollar is going to suffer because of his departure. No, I would say, no, quite the contrary. The fact that uh, uh, Mr. Strauss-Kahn was promoting the special drawing rights, which in a way are the mechanism that would make the dollar suffer, I think that we are going to see that whoever finally uh, takes over the helm at the IMF will... Uh, keep away from giving the IMF too, str too strong a participation in doing away with the U.S. dollar. In other words, the U.S. dollar needs to be the key currency, and anything which is seen as competition automatically puts on uh, warning lights. Uh, a small example, in November 2002, Saddam Hussein started uh, uh, selling his uh, dr uh, food for oil agreement with the UN, $1 billion per annum. He started selling that in euros. That was in November 2002. Well, we know in March 2003 what happened to Saddam Hussein because it was a very uh, dangerous uh, step for the U.S. dollar because if the oil uh, market were to migrate from U.S. dollars to euros, that would spell trouble for the U.S. dollar. So here, if uh, uh, Dominic Strauss-Kahn's uh, idea of migrating away from the dollar towards special drawing rights uh, as one of the treasuries, shall we say, one of the key bonds for, co for countries to invest in, that would also spell trouble for U.S. treasuries. And again, it would spell trouble for the United States dollar. What do you mean for Europe and the euro? Well, for Europe and the euro, the euro, in a way, I believe, I personally believe, is a transitional experiment in global currency. The uh, euro is uh, technically strong, but it is culturally still a weak currency, and it is not yet by no means a global currency. The special drawing rights on the me mega stage, in other words, inter-country, so to speak, uh, it, it, it is a strong mechanism because as it stands right now, it is a basket of currencies that includes the United States dollar, the euro, the pound sterling, and uh, all, uh, 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 a fourth currency. Now, uh, there, is strong, uh, there is a strong call to have the BRICS currencies uh, included, Brazil, Russia, India, and especially China. So the fact that uh, the special drawing rights could be strengthened in quantity and made more uh, of a wider scope as far as the currencies that it spans would make many countries like China, like Japan, like Korea, like Russia, like India feel more comfortable keeping their ba central bank reserves in special drawing rights with the IMF and doing away with United States treasuries. Anything that will trigger countries to sell off their U.S. Treasury bond holdings is a sign of trouble for the United States because, as I say, those Treasury bonds, U.S. Treasury bonds, is what allows Ben Bernanke to have his printing presses going on 24 hours a day. If that were to be stopped and if America were to stop printing currency, 
well, America could at least financially collapse. I just want to focus back in on the euro a minute, those uh, countries that were bailed out. Now, Strauss-Kahn uh, played a leading role in bailing out Greece, Ireland and Portugal. Now, what about if a country, for instance, like Spain, uh, came along, wanted to follow suit at some point in the future? What are the chances of that country getting bailed out? Less these days now in this new climate? Again, yeah, that, that is a sign of trouble because, again, because of uh, Mr. Uh, Strauss-Kahn's socialist leanings, he had a tendency to say, OK, the job of the IMF, IMF is to help Ireland, help, help Portugal, help Greece to transition these momentary uh, financial imbalances. If the IMF were to take a much stronger stance and not bail out Greece, for example, then Greece would be in huge social trouble. I'll give you an example from my country in Argentina. In 2001 and 2002, the IMF was in the hands of Horst Peller and Ann Kruger was the number two from the United States. And they did not bail out Argentina in October 2001. And that led to total financial banking and monetary collapse of Argentina in 2001 and 2002 with mass rioting, a 40 percent drop in the gross domestic product and 50 percent of the population falling below the poverty line. So if hardliners were to replace now Mr. Uh, Strauss-Kahn, that would spell a lot of trouble for many of the weaker European countries, notably Spain, Italy, Portugal, Ireland and naturally Greece. Adrian Salpucci, thanks for being on RT from Moscow. Uh, joining us on the line from Buenos Aires tonight as you are. My pleasure.